Hey, David Adams here with Miller's Heating and Air. Again, I'm excited. I'm getting me a new furnace today in my own personal home. Hey, I want to go over five areas of every home comfort system that you need to be concerned about when you go ahead and replace your home comfort system or even if you're repairing it or just doing a maintenance on it because a lot of these areas are neglected because people think it's all just about the furnace or the air conditioner or heat pump, just about the equipment. It's really a home comfort system. So that's the key, it's a system. So there's five key areas to the system. The first one being the heart of the system, which is the equipment. You know, you've got choices with equipment. You've got brand choices, you've got efficiency choices, you've got airflow choices, you've got all kinds of different uh, choices when you pick uh, equipment. So equipment is is very important uh, part of it, but just as important is the second area, and that's the ductwork. I know you probably can't see all the things here, but when we went ahead and we were getting ready to put in my new home comfort system, is we went and designed and looked at the old ductwork to make sure that it was properly sized and that it was going to fit our new HVAC system, our new home comfort system. So it's very important to properly size these things. Equipment, ductwork, everything that you do. You should have a heat load, heat loss calculation done any time that you go ahead and we're going to be replacing your home comfort system to make sure that your home is telling the contractor, telling the HVAC contractor, myself, what's the proper size. So you want to have the proper size. You don't want it to be too big because then it's short cycles and then it's going to wear out quicker. Or you don't want it to be too small and then it won't work. So it's got to be, you got to do it right. So uh, equipment number one, ductwork number two. Now when we were doing our ductwork, my ductwork design, we found that it was installed a little bit incorrectly, that the return wasn't quite big enough. So we're going to be adding a return. I find on more probably 75% of our clients that we go out to that there's some issue with their ductwork. It's not installed properly, it's not strapped properly, and most of the time the biggest problem is we find is that the return air is not big enough. And that would be like you running out and going out and doing a marathon sucking through a straw. You're not going to last very long. And that's what your system is. It's starving for air because your return that comes back to the furnace is too small. So it needs to be properly sized. So number one equipment, Number two would be ductwork, all that returns, supply, everything. Uh, number three is controls. And I'm, what I'm really excited about is with my new home comfort system, look at this box, man, this is awesome. Uh, this is my new uh, S30 Linux iComfort thermostat. This, when I saw this at, a, at, at our uh, uh, vendor show, I couldn't get more excited. This is probably the coolest thing that's come out in the HVAC industry since, it, since I know, I've been doing this 30 years, and I think this is such a cool thing. So controls are such a big thing. Your thermostat, whether it's programmable, I mean, what is your uh, Wi-Fi now? Wi-Fi is a big thing. You can control it. I'll be able to control this off the internet, be able to control it with my smartphone here. Uh, all those things are very, very important. Also, I'm doing with my controls, which was a big reason why I decided to do this, was zoning. Uh, I have a, a two-story home, and upstairs is gets, gets way, way too warm, and it's so hard to control that uh, without zoning. So I'm going to be putting in uh, electric dampers throughout my home, and then I'll be able to control the zones with these just these very little small thermostats, and then the big one in the middle. So I'll be able to get that comfort that I want. Okay. So number one equipment. Number two is going to be ductwork. Number three is going to be controls with zoning, thermostat. How are you going to control all these things? And the fourth one's really cool too because it's it's really coming out new in our field, and that's indoor air quality. That you can control the indoor air quality in your home with your forced air furnace. Uh, I'm putting in a really neat product called a halo air scrubber. Now what this does is it ionizes the particulates so it's going to be able to make my filter, my furnace filter, work ten times more efficient. So uh, I'll be able to get that really small microns of dirt and dust and dander out of the air because it ionizes the particulates and I'll talk more about the halo in another, uh, another video. Uh, but it then, because it does just so many different things, but indoor air quality. One thing about indoor air quality too is you need to make sure your ductwork is sealed. 
If it's not sealed, and we find many, I bet over half our systems that we go out to, the ductwork has not been sealed properly. So that means it could be sucking in stuff from your attic or your crawl space, or, and it could be bringing dust and dander and dirt all into your house, and you, you don't want that. So, and then efficiency, why would you want to heat your attic or heat your crawl space? So the ductwork needs to be sealed. That's part of indoor air quality, uh, good filters, halo, all these things are part of that. But the most important thing is once you go ahead and make this investment, you got new equipment, you've got a ductwork design that you like, you got zoning, you got controls, you've got all this stuff, you need to take care of it. And that would be with a club membership. A club membership really seals all this together to make sure that you're out having annual maintenance, be able to keep your warranties in effect, and then get that efficiency that you paid for. And it's important to do that. So equipment, look at equipment, even in a repair or uh, maintenance and all this, you need to be thinking about these five areas. Equipment, what kind of equipment you have, ductwork, controls, indoor air quality, and lastly, take care of your system with a, a club membership from Miller's Heating and Air. If we can help you with any of these things, please give us a call in Vancouver. Call us at 360-695-6500. And in Portland, in North Portland, you can call us at 503-261-6500. Hey, have a great day. Hope to help you soon.